And we back, y'all. Y'all see what it is, man. Stop playing. This is part two. Blood in, blood out. Look, like I said at the end of part one, y'all. I ain't go nowhere. I'm sitting here for one sitting, y'all. But this is a three hour something minute long movie, y'all. And one thing that I learned about these three hour movies, y'all. One, I think I had one reaction for sure that was like a three hour movie, but I was able to edit it all for one video, but it still was a lot, you know, a lot of the movie, not a lot of the movie that was in it. Don't get me wrong. Don't, don't, hey, YouTube, you do not need to check anything. YouTube, please, you do not need to check nothing. All right. You, you already check. You copyright check. Matter of fact, I think that's a claim video anyway, meaning... Um, it's already a claim on it, so I I will not be able to monetize that video in any type of way. So it's all cool anyway. But that's probably why it's a claim because it's a lot of the movie that's in there. Like if it's three hours, technically having about almost forty minutes of the movie it is too much. You feel me? Even if it's like very, you didn't even cross an hour, but it's close to an hour, and it's. It's already kind of too much if you crossing into that 30 minutes of movie footage is already kind of too much in a way. So 40 minutes, that's definitely stretched out. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I, I said one thing about it. It's very hard to get those lengthy like reactions that are like almost three hours and up, y'all. Yeah, it's got to be a two parter. But disclaimer, y'all headphone volume. Okay, look, like I gave in the first video, um, this disclaimer, the volume for the movie and shows that I watch, y'all, is loud in my headphones. I do not hear my mic levels up here at all. I have it turned down completely when it comes to my headphones, so I do not hear myself. I'm giving my raw thoughts and opinions throughout this movie, so that means even while I'm talking over what you would deem to be great dialogue like oh you're missing it i am not missing it even while i'm talking i'm catching it y'all because i do not hear myself i only hear the movie i'm just talking out loud what's going on in my head so but i'm still hearing only the movie so i'm only able to take in the movie not myself y'all are hearing me clearly though but that's that's how my reactions work y'all i just give you my raw thoughts and opinions that's my reaction videos you feel me so that way, if you're wondering, like, like, or if it seems like to be annoying, you're like, oh, you're missing so much. You keep talking over all the good stuff. I get it. Trust me. I hate when there's a good ass movie and somebody is just missing everything. You're just completely talking over. You're missing great scenes. You're missing key dialogue and stuff like I get it. Y'all trust me. I'm I'm just like that, too. But I'm letting you know it's a reason why I set up everything the way I set it up with volume and everything I know how well I am with multitasking basically speaking out loud because I'm one of those people y'all that I am at home and I talk to the TV you feel me so <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the crazy you feel me but the way that I have this set up like I said it's a reason why I have the volume turned up for the movie and the show and not the volume for my mic up here at all because I know as long as I can't hear myself and can only hear the movie or show that I'm watching, then I can still take it all in without missing anything. Now, when I do be here at the house and just watching TV and I'm doing talking out loud, I do miss some stuff because I'm hearing myself. So it's like I'm bouncing my, you feel me? So I am missing stuff. You feel me hearing that? But I catch it though. You know what I mean? That's it for the disclaimer. Y'all, look. In part one, that shit went down. I don't know how long y'all had to wait for part two again. I said it somewhere in part one. I am sorry ahead for the wait. If y'all had to wait a while for part two, I do apologize. I'm so sorry, y'all. I am sorry, all right? I I'm sorry. Just know it's only because I'm in the trenches. You feel me? cranking these reactions out for y'all man i'm trying to man i'm trying to get y'all the most you feel me so look look all right shit went down in the first part y'all first off i like how this movie even started off like this shit started off on some 
like the music was on point at the beginning of this movie like it just started turned up and man it was showing how vibrant the city looked like especially i guess in the in the on the latin side of town basically because it seemed like it was a heavy you know latin population within that part of the city they were showing so that side of town looked vibrant as hell that shit was colorful in the motherfucker it looked like it had a look i don't know what to call the look but that shit looked crazy though like in a good way like on some artistic shit like everything even they billboard stuff that for their restaurants and stuff that shit looked kind of like i don't know would the word be retro would that be the right word since this is like like um you know back in a day type of you know piece of film here or would would it be another word either way i love that old look and old style like from the cars to the clothing and um i definitely liked a lot of what was going on with the the females looks like though the females had this look with their hair and stuff and the 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 makeup it did it, it seems so not too much, but it seemed different than how makeup and I guess I normally see how hair is normally worn worn and whatnot. So it, it was a different look. It, like that's why I say I love these styles from these older times. Like I don't know what kind of style that was for the female, but that shit looked lit for the females. Um, I like what the guys are wearing in here. Like a lot of this stuff, like the high khakis and stuff like i love that shit that the mother got style um yeah but my boy Mikolo, white dude he 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 was he been down with the essays you feel me like real gangsters like real mexican gangsters you know what i mean so he he been down with them and they respect them and whatnot he got his stripes in the first part as y'all saw he, he earned his stripes you know he Ran down on one of the rival gang members, you know, cars and whatnot. He bust out the window. He was on his shit like, yeah, fuck y'all. We over here. We we thugging this way. Y'all don't want none of this. And, you know, them boys, they, they ain't take that. You know, they ain't take that. They came back on some brutal shit, you know, and they, they fucked up the artist. You know what I mean? They dropped them on a fire hydrant, stomped them out, you know, broke his hand cut cut the tattoo off his other hand like they damaged bro and he ended up going to hospital got hooked on that morphine stuff and he got out the hospital and he needed to keep having the morphine stuff and he ended up getting hooked on the hard drugs and he still became a great artist but he still messed it up I think at least, I don't know yet, but I'm pretty sure he's going to mess that up at this point. He is going to mess up his, his art career. I would hope he won it, but this guy is like he keeps sabotaging himself. I don't know why he keeps doing this to himself. It's like all this talent, bro, all this smartness, but you keep doing all this dumb shit. And it's like, bro, come on, man. Come on. It don't make no sense. Make it make sense. But either way, moving from there, the the other the other one, the brother, the stepbrother to that brother, um, he was the most badass badass out of all three on uh, out of this trio. He was the badass one for real, like the real gangster gangster motherfucker. You feel me? He out there whipping the GTO in traffic. You know what I mean? My boy doing he, he doing the dash on him. You feel me? But. Man, he got caught up when they got caught up and whatnot after after Mikolo had to lay bread down and whatnot. When they got caught up, you know, Mikolo, like a real G, he took the full charge for the for the death of the rival gang member, you know, so he had to go to prison behind that. But um and it was self defense. That's bullshit. Mikolo should have been able to beat that. That was self defense. But um either way, the the uh the other partner in crime, you feel me? He ended up, of course, he was going to get in trouble for the the whole taking the police on a high-speed pursuit, you feel me? So they gave him a choice that they gave a lot of juvenile offenders. I think juvenile, would they? All right, was they juvenile? What was their ages, y'all? Y'all watched part one. How old were they when they was doing this gang shit, you feel me, like on the streets before all the shit went down. Like, how old were they? 
they were in high school, right? Like twelfth grade, like seniors or something, right? Let me know how how old were they um for the you know their their characters and whatnot. Let me know. But shit went down and whatnot, and yeah, I. I want to give a whole lengthy intro here, y'all. I want to I want to give y'all a full recap because, like I said, I'm pretty sure part two of this video, it probably came some time after um, part one. So I know maybe y'all, I know maybe a slight recap would definitely be appreciated here, y'all. But just know I am watching this in one sitting, so. Even though it may have took a while part two to come in. Y'all just know I am watching this whole movie at one time. So literally after I did my end to my reaction on part one, I literally just started the camera right back up and hopped on the intro for this for part two. And I had the movie paused in the spot that I paused it at and I just press play. So look, y'all, I just ready to get back into this before I lose momentum here. You feel me? So, I done talked long enough. I appreciate if y'all stayed this long until, like, my whole intro. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. Follow your boy over there on Twitch also. The link for the Twitch is in the bottom. That is where I will be doing my live reviews, full-length reviews for these movies and shows. But it will be great if y'all come over there in the live audience. Y'all can definitely... Add to the reviews, man. You feel me? Y'all can add in. We'll have fun over there. And if you miss those reviews, trust me, you can still see them because I will edit those reviews and they will be over here on the channel. So there will be movie and show reviews coming over here on the YouTube channel. But you can again join that live audience over there on the Twitch. So go ahead, hit that Twitch link at the bottom. Hit the follow. You feel me? Follow your boy. Help your boy come up some. I love these movies and shows. Y'all can see that clearly. So I definitely know I enjoy it. I can talk about this all day long. So over there on the Twitch, that's where I will be talking about these films and these shows in full length. So definitely join me over there, man. But enough of that. We about to get in part two of Blood In, Blood Out. You feel me? So I'm going to catch y'all, man. Y'all ready? All right, I'm ready now. Let's let's go. Let's go. See Monk, I see. Yeah, I must say they're not that good, Holmes. That's the best thing I tasted in nine years, Doctor Loco. <laughs> good to be home, Cat. Now, right on, Cachetón, right on. Cuidado, Cruzito. That rose won't bloom in the spring. Hey, 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 no Baptist sermons, okay, homie? Takes away the pain in my back. The Lord can't. Try praying. <laughs> you better still be painting. You know it, Holmes, you know it. But it's different than before. Yeah, it's definitely different than before. Man, my guy, how them, that heroin, but I'm glad to see my boy on parole. You know, one of them, he did his thing. He became, you know, military and law enforcement. Orale. Friend got me a place. And besides, a parole board checks my address. Simon. Thanks, Cruzito. Any time, Carmen. You don't know how good it is to see you, Vato. Oh, that type of apartment. Who that is creeping up behind him? Oh, he went to bruh spot. Oh. Bro, well, you ain't got no clothes, my guy. Hey, welcome to the barrio, Holmes. <laughs> hey, Smokey, Cabache, Muno. Soon as manito de la pinta. Kind of sausage fest, hey, shit, y'all got going on here. Yeah, Carlos, hey, you told me to tell your mom to send more coffee. I'll make sure it's um TC. Shit, she never sent me one. <laughs> 
some coffee. <laughs> oh, it is a female in there. Hey, she's fucked up. We had a party last night. I said. <clears throat> So, uh, you got a place for me in this building, huh? Uh... <laughs> hey, you know that didn't work out, Holmes. That didn't work this out. This fucking building is filled up. So what am I gonna tell my parole officer? Hey, tell him to suck his pee-pee. <laughs> Timon, Essie. You laughing. You stay here, Essie. It's the same address. I even got you a good job. This ain't that joint with three hats on a cot. This is the streets, homie. Oh, you got no shit. choice. The parole board calls the shots here. This is your address for at least three months. Damn. That shit sound messed up as hell. Come on, man. I'm just hanging for my old lady and my kids. Mm. What about Popeye? Popeye's docking me for a third of my check, man. Everybody Damn. Clip, man, to pay that loan shark Clavo. That's the dude that fronted the bread for the PCP lab. That's not the way it's supposed to be. Damn. So them boys down in the streets. This is an ugly thing. We'll be able to cash that till Monday. Company will do it for ten bucks. Alright. So, Larry, what do you give me on the Lakers? What the hell? Three points. Larry, Kareem is crippled. Give me six points in Golden State. Come on. What? Barry's hands hurt. He's Golden State's full offense. Hang on, Larry. So? Kareem is injured, so is Nixon. Lakers got lots of firepower, but without Barry, Golden State's nothing. Six points ain't enough. Listen, six points are no bet. Sorry, Larry. Sorry, Larry. All right. Who made you the expert? Put me down for twelve hundred. Yeah, twelve hundred, Larry. <laughs> hmm. My boy got himself a hustle, y'all. I'm just peeping. I'm just looking at like how he's observing, bro, on the phone, talking like, oh, this is like prison. Do bet. Okay. What? You seen Paco? No, nah, not since Juanito died. Mm. They don't want to keep the wound open, man. They don't want me around, Holmes. That's cold blooded, Carlos. That's not cold blooded. Probably bust my ass someday. Man, that's fucked up. Bro, he changed his life for the better, bro. Detective Aguilar. Detective, big time. Kibole, champ. Miklo? Good guess. Oh. <laughs> Are you out? Uh, two weeks. Well, why don't you let me know, man? Hey, after nine years in a joint, it ain't easy to call a cop. Listen, listen. Uh -huh. It's not me I'm calling about anyway. It's Cruz. He's hurting, man. He needs his familia. He has no family. Damn. That ain't right, Paco. But those locals forever, remember? No, you know what I remember? The day they lowered my little brother into the ground. That changed me forever. Every time I see a junkie on the street, this reminds me of Crucito pissed away his life and his talent. Yeah, well, think about it. I That's how I kind of feel about that. Why I'm like, he keeps sabotaging himself. Anything I can do to help? Nah. If I'm gonna make it out of here, it's gonna be me who does it. I need the keys to move the trucks. Wait a minute. Make sure all the tires are out of them and they're washed down. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> So you know your hoops. <laughs> it look like my boy might be going in business, y'all. They got going on. Motherfucker, what arrest them? Fuck the world. <laughs> Fuck the world? Nah, bruh. You can shout that, but that shouldn't be in your mouth. You can't say fuck your mouth like that. Please get out of my bed. I gotta go to sleep. Bed? Later. Later. Let the motherfucker go to sleep, huh? Yo, bro, the muscles don't mean shit, bro. Motherfucker get popped the fuck out now. I don't play. $150 short. I worked 20 hours overtime last week. 
That's right. I'm gonna do you a favor and take 150 out seven more times till you pay back the money you stole. What? What money? I've been totally straight with you, man. What are you talking about? No. I try to give you cons a break. You see money and you can't resist stealing it. That's what? a lie, man. I never stole from you, Gil. It wasn't me. You had the keys. You knew where the money was. What? 150 times 8 is 1,200, right? Right? You use my money to pay back your yeah, gambling debts? Huh? It's a cute story. I'll tell you what, I'm going to call the cops. I'll tell them my version, and you can tell them yours. Convict. So motherfucking this, y'all, y'all, I will break the fuck out of somebody's face, y'all. Like, what the hell, bruh? Are you kidding me? Hey. That's bullshit. Get you some extra overtime. Man, fuck you, bro. That's bullshit, bro. That's bullshit. You can call my parole officer anytime and get me revoked. No, you're is what though. And that's the type of shit that, that causes a lot of motherfuckers to go a certain route if they trying to go the right way. That type of shit. This just ain't worth it, is it? Father Milkweed. There's no respect. Oh, yeah, open up. Here it is. Ronald Reagan, asshole. Open up. Who the fuck are you, pendejo? Who the fuck are you? I live here, pinche way. I for real. Oh, oh shit. Oye, papay! ¿Quién es este güero? Hey, hey, it's cool, it's cool. He's crashing here. Oh, fuck, man. Hey. I was bust, bro, side ass as soon as I got in there. Like, you got me messed up. We talking some heavy business here. You ain't gonna make no deals in this place. You're gonna fuck up my parole. No, Crescito, this is my house, damn it. Bruh. Cruzito. Them boys got guns hey, in there. Cruz. Where you been, S.A.? Huh? Hello, que paso, home? And you a tough mama to find. Uh-oh. Who are those little four Gs that you owe me? No fucking way. Oh, that is some I just gotta sell a couple of my paintings. Fucked up luck. I'll get you your ferry at home. Paintings, that's right. At least you gave me some paintings, that's it. This baboso still hasn't given me dick. Can you believe that? What about the 30% percent you have been cutting out of Carnales checks at the retread shop? That's not what Honda's about. I ain't paying you shit. Shut the fuck up, Wedo. What about our share, home? Fuck, puppy. Me too. You told me you were broke, you see? Oh, shit. I'm listen to you chumps whine about nickels and dimes. I'm talking about copping a hundred grand. Nueva York means shit. That wakes people up. Anybody got a problem with that? Hey, no, no. Hey, we got no problem with that. Then what's the bullshit? We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. I got... I got Mudo out on the street right now. He's copping some wheels and, uh... You got the muscle to jack yourself off. That's it. <laughs> Yo, I'm just getting in this moment, y'all. This whole scene is tense, man. Yo, who, who, what, what's up? Wait a second. What's a scam? Oh, I need a trigger, man, white boy. Shit, motherfucker, what's happening? Punches the clock. You want to see more of them? Yo. It's a lot of guns out here. This vato's big trouble. You bluffing this game, scum pacho. You better be holding five aces. Yeah, join I was hustling more money than that punk ever dreamed of. He was punching my time clock every day. What's a gig? He gets ten percent. Shut up, Lou. Mama truck's a dumb deal. It's too dangerous. This one's smart, boy. The driver's in on it. He's a customer. No te metas, güero. No te metas en esto. Okay. We'll do it. Yeah. But it's 50-50. And you wipe out Cruz's debt. Charlie Holmes, don't get fucked up in this bullshit. Stay straight, pendejo. No sermons, this, I remember? I ain't gonna lie. Even, even Junkie Cruz trying to tell him, like, bruh. Nah, you ain't gotta go this route, bro. Sucker for you. You ain't gotta go this route. Empty handed. Sixty forty. Real thing handles the cash. 
Yeah, that's technically a fair deal. Hey, hey, what about me, fucker? You're out of it, asshole. It's payback time, Popeye. Oh, shit. I'm gonna shit. take back my rent money with interest. Oh, Brilliant. shit. Orale. <laughs> he just cut Papa out like that, y'all. He better kill that motherfucker. <laughs> you don't want to leave, like, you know, you, loose I hands you. around. I did. I no did. Way, so, man. check this out. Check this out. Manuel special. Is this a nuclear accident burrito or what? I'm going to tie this over to lunch. Us. You mean you? Huh. Two of you. That's a burrito? Yeah, I'm a cop, all right? I'm working on my character look. Well, I want to see that. Yeah. Motherfucker right? a little bit more close. Real. All right? I can. Oh, yeah. Not cool. You like busting dope dealers. And that's why they should have killed him. This is my lunch hour. Big deal going down tomorrow. The Zodi's on Whittier. Who is it? Look for a blue Econoline van with 20 keys of coke inside. You'll be on a six o'clock news. Shit. Oh, yeah? Who is this? All I gotta say is shit goes down and we're sitting That's down messed back up. Dick and asshole. That's all you call me. What, what is my name? Dick asshole? Hey, hey. Dick asshole. Is that your guy? I don't know. You see a connection, anyone? No. Looks like two Latino males. Hey, I'm the dope. No, no, there's an armored truck. Shit, this ain't a buy. This is a heist, man. Call it in. The two eleven in progress. Go to Whittier. Yo, it look like part of the trio about to get back together, y'all. Under some messed up circumstances. Y'all, I can't remember the name of the movie, but I seen it a while back. It was some with Robert De Niro and Al Pacino back in their youth, I think. Like, one was a robber and the other was a cop. It's me, cut now. Me close. What the, what the fuck? fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> Give me the gun, cut now. No fuck away, I said. Miko, I can help you. Give me the fucking gun. I ain't going back, Paco. You owe me this one, Pato Loco. Damn. Yo. Man. I ain't gonna lie, he did get him involved with the game life for real. Like, he was the big gangster who said, yo, you gotta earn the right to be put down. So he, but it's not his fault that bro life led to where it led. And he made the choice ultimately that he made to do what he did then. I ain't blame that shit on nobody, man. A man at the end of the day. the hell kind of shit is this? This is disturbing as hell. Man, we ain't gonna finish messing with that shit once. You planted it about 20 times. Come on, Dick Apple. I'm the horse. Trying to kill me. Yeah, what else has he been in? I know he's been in the, uh, what was the vampire movie? Um, Dust of Dawn. Like, he's been in a ton of stuff. Like, he's a great actor also. They got a lot of people here that are, you know, when they were young. Things people usually say. 
say who care about each other. I'll see. After seven years of nothing, man, not even a fucking greeting card, you want hospitality, huh? Hey, pues, there's a can of chinga tu madre right there on the table, man. Why don't you help yourself? <laughs> uh. Hey, Holmes. Did you say hey, Holmes, to me, Holmes, before you shot him? Hey, hey, what was I supposed out, to do? He was a shooter in a robbery. I was doing my job. Nobody has the right to kill innocent people. Oh, you're a bitchy, frato vendido, puto. Fuck so he did head. shoot him. Damn. Come here anymore unless you're gonna bust you me. Who the fuck gave you permission to use my little brother in your painting? I don't need permission from you. He's my carnalito too. Hey, don't you use Juanito as an excuse to wreck your life. You don't have that right. I don't have the right, huh? Fucking right, I don't. You fucking right, I don't have the right. You don't. You don't have that fucking right. You want him out of my painting, Joto? All right. All right. There he is! Aita, toma! Take it, man, come on! Juanito always loved me more than you, Holmes. Tu te creías muy chingón. You were always too much of a badass to love the little vato. Just like you are now, so much of a fucking badass, you kill your own people! No! Don't you ever say that to me again, Crucito. I let you say that once. Que puto! What the fuck? You're gonna kick my ass? Okay, then let's get down! Come on, you the badass. I don't want to fight with you, little brother. To what? Bust me? Well, come on, Gavacho, you the law. Do That's your job. crazy, though. I mean, hey, we Do we all job. make choices, man. Just got to live by it. Yeah, what it is, man. You just got to live by it at the end of the day. He's the guy, PCP bus. That's Papai Sabedia. Nico's connected to him. La onda a toda madre o un desmadre. It's onda. La onda. It's your destiny, man. It's, it's like a wave. Nothing can stop it. Mm. Madre means mother. So, no, no, it's a lot more complicated than that. This is some heavy shit. All right? How's it get more complicated than that? Everything is perfect. It's like your mother's love. And when this madre... It's like you have no mother. It's absolute hatred, complete destruction. In other words, you win it all or lose everything. Oh, boy. Yeah, he did break kind of dirty, man. He took his leg. <laughs> he could have just killed him instead. Yeah, he could. Yeah, he could have just killed, bro. Like, bro, I already went to prison. You know, behind on the gang shit with you, and now you took his leg. Oh, shit. Damn. That is messed up, bruh. It, it, I, I can't even lie. I can't even. I can't even fall, bruh, for being mad, man. You hold me. Damn. Who's the sellout? You're telling me you're working hard, going straight. The next thing I know, you're pointing a 357 at me, and there's two guys dead on the ground. Damn. Would have given you anything, Miklo. Would you? You can't just take away what I am. You chose the wrong side, I say. There's too many of us. You gonna lose? No, uh -uh. see, I don't forget where I come from or who I am. That's what keeps me going every day. Truth, Paco. What truth? This? La Onda, is this your truth? Two big punks like Papa Saavedra with their PCP labs, or you robbing Zodis and killing innocent people? I'm cutting you up like they did my leg. You don't exist for me anymore. Damn, okay. Damn, bro, turn his head away like that, like that. Why you gotta turn his head away like that, bro? Like, hey, all right. It's all good. It's Gucci. Boy, walk off. It's all good. 1980. Ah, oh, damn, bro. My boy back in the pen with one leg. You better tell Paolo. You better stop nobody. 
with no. my business. No, he's what dead. Fuck, it's not in public. They ain't gonna let no junkies rip off my customers. Now come. Now come. The hell going on? Mira, mira. It's a bionic man. Hey, Carlos, what's with the BGA? Pay no mind to cheap conversation. They're just sore losers, I see. They're just flapping their crow wings. Pockets is on the warpath, this is. Oh, yeah. I can't help it if the customers know where the quality is. He's been selling them baby powder. I don't have all day, man. Let's take it in. Oh. Hey, man, he's cool. Gonna be selling huh? Really? Come over here. Let me get these cuffs. They've got me something. I get to work at the law library. I'm a mad doggy between Carlos and the BGA. The Lato's got one sweet cocaine connection. He's moving in on Pockets' customers. Where he connects? Hmm. Nobody knows. But it's We're a really bad in prison like that, man. Montana, he just stopped by and watched Carlos jump in. Lata talks. And buying influence on and the And he ain't even phased by being back in prison and back in all this. Not on that. That's why I said that's a whole mentality, y'all. I saw that out in the streets. We're cutting our own throats. Caray, to get a cadnat. It's too soon to be walking on it. It's a long way up. But there's no way they're gonna stick me down there in the first tier without ah, my carnales. Ah. Oh. Your own cousin did that. Get his madre. We should put a hit on that puto. No, he's mine. His payback's gonna take time. Hey, you were in on that too, weren't you, Smokey? Hmm? Oh. How about these putos? You know them, don't you? No, no way. La onda. Oh. Isn't that what that snake tattoo means? Hmm? Isn't that what that snake tattoo means? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, uh, Esa. Man. That's what I'm talking about, pendejo. We're about to start snitching. Smoky. One more, they're going to lock you up for good. So you Is he planning that? Gonna strap you down with the bitch. You'll never see the streets again. Bruh. If I say anything, I'm dead meat. I ain't going to tell you shit, that's it. Baby powder, baboso. Man, fuck out. You bluffing, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh boy. Once, so write it down. Precedence for habeas corpus, cruel and unusual punishment here. Jerry, I don't mean to be nosy, then but don't I... be. Hmm. All right, what? What is it? I was just wondering now. Uh, you own all those hardware stores. How come you're in here? Eleven tons of Colombian weed. 12 keys of heroin and a pilot to turn state's evidence. <laughs> Damn. Gee, you like Boston George or something, ain't it? Hey, Jerry, I just want you to handle right, my Jerry. Hurry up, Jerry. Charlie, I didn't see your jacket here. You got an appointment? The name's Carlos. Remember, I'm paying you a lot of feria, I see. You should be working on my case over Charlie. time. Cool out or get out. George? Hmm. Oye, Miklo. You could take your leg off and hook down some of the books from up top, I see. What you said? Hey, I'm just kidding. Is it? Come here. Wait, come here, man. Okay, relax. I got the medicine to make you well, but don't. Mira, you ever in any pain, homie? Just come talk to me, man. Hell nah. Good Motherfucker ain't getting on that shit. Talk to him, man, on metal. Charlie, think about the future, not the past. Montana's not God. Tomorrow at the council, I'm giving on the chance to move into the driver's seat. Don't be left behind, eh? Mira. I cut a sweet deal with the aviators. They'll supply me with all the dope I can move, just as long as I sell only to the blacks and take them out of the dope business. It's simple. Me and my soldados can take care of pockets in here. My brother Smokey, he can take out cheap times. Their main supply joint down in LA. All I need from the council is backup. In return, I'm prepared to give on the third of my profit. It's a sucker's deal, I say, como siempre. The only thing the Aryans want is to start a war between black and brown. Chale, we got a truce with the BGA. Why do you want to play the ship with these mayates? Market is there. Cocaine is America's cup of coffee. Orale que no. Simon. Oye, check it out. I'm making so much feria right now. It's making Miklo's gambling book look like bubble gum change. We don't start wars to become dope pushers. You even addicted some of our own soldados to coca. You want to go back to bumming cigarettes, I see? Oye, 
You want to shine shoes? It's the la onda don't shine shoes. That's right, but that's what's going to happen if we don't make our move now, is it? I want to own the whole fucking store. Now, are you with me? I say, Chale, you're not the leader here. I say, Onda's not with you. You do what you have to do without us. Damn. That's getting respected. No puedo. Chale con That's ustedes. getting respected. Listen, Charlie's a businessman. He broke some serious business rules. Not only did he get strung out on his own shit, but he moved on BGA clients when he didn't have to. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Y'all, you know, like, the story is just picking up so much to where you got to take in a lot. And I'm trying to process it right now, y'all. Cocaine is America's cup of coffee. Yes, it is. Even to this day, it is. You and Carlos' connection. Huh? He said the same cup of coffee line exactly. Yep. You're supplying him. You're pissed because he's doing business with A beers now. Uh -huh. Last year, California passed a flat time law for drug offenders. You know what that means? That means they have it worse than anybody. Murderers, rapists, anybody. Mm. There's no parole, no good time. It's a lot of guys that are going to be here for a real long time, all drug users. Can you see the potential? Can control this joint and every other joint. Well on it. Oh, boy, that is genius. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I wouldn't want to go to prison, but hey, I mean, if you're gonna sell drugs, I mean, why not sell it necessarily to the criminals in jail? Hey, I'm not saying I'm gonna go for that. Well, 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 Lightning. But hey, he sounds to the kids or nothing no more. Like, shit. Grown adults. You hear that, Lightning? Cripple here wants to collect your gambling debts. Mm. Yeah, well, I might think about it. He'll show me his falsy. Back just to show it. <laughs> Stop. Fucking let it come. Damn. Get off me, motherfuckers. You're gonna brace yourself. Stay still, goddammit, I said. You gotta be crazy to pull this shit, Lightning. Oh, I'm scared, huh? Well, but you didn't fight so hard when Big Al used to do this, did you? You must be Damn. laughing. Damn. Great, Cripple. Get off me, fuck. You fucking full of bears are gonna pay, believe me! Look around, you half breed. On this finished. Carlos works for us now. Go out for a pass, cripple. Come on, go deep. Damn. Now you're back to your true nature, boy. Crawling on your belly like a worm. That's so messed up, bro. But he was right about the drugs. Whoever controls them controls everything. You ever seen an old drug dealer, Miklo? They don't exist. Look, all we have to do is... That's win. true, y'all. That's a real saying. I mean, hey, you got old drug dealers that exist, but it ain't too many... Big old drug dealers that exist. We have been doing this fighting each other. And for what? The best of us ending up in pools of blood. For a beach of peck of smokes and a snort of coca. Chale. I don't know where you're coming from, bro. Mm. Guess that's so. Some kind of from Cal State got them to publish my SM prison report. Want me to write a book on the Chicano in prison? You better lift your eyes out of this book, Jefe. You better see what's going on around us now. Mm. Mm. That's crazy, y'all. Bro, really got one leg now. I like the little effect that they're doing here, though, to make it literally look like he has one leg. Like, how are they making it look like that? What are they doing? Is that CGI? Whether we like it or not, the dope business is where it's at, Magic. If the ABers and the BGRs control it, they control everything, including us. Fucking ASA. Carlitos was right. No, he was stupid. We're selling out to the A-Beer. 
Wanda should take the money left in the gambling book and make a buy. Yeah. I know a connection. But the council won't approve it. We should do it anyway. You wanna die, Este? If I have to, I will. If we don't do something now, Honda dies. You want that? Damn. Yeah. All or nothing. I love Montana too. But I'm not gonna stand by and watch them destroy us. Damn. Will you stand with me, Carnal? Bro, I don't think that's a good right idea, now, though. I don't so think that's good. Better watch your back, because I'm going to ride you. Orale, say, you're right. I don't want any trouble. Change my way. Now I'm taking all your customers. Damn. Say anything and you're dead. At the same time he hits pockets, his brother Smokey will move on cheap Yo. cars. The BGA's drugstore down in L.A. Fuck you monkeys of coconuts! What? From Quentin! Yo! Bruh, Carlos is so strong out. They going full blown war, ain't it? The hell he get grenades from? Does the aviers dirty work? The pull is protection, and it'll be open season. Oh shit! Damn. Wait a minute! I said I want you ready! I'm not gonna waste the lives of our soldados for nothing! First we talk! We fight only if we have to! It's time to strike it now! We wait, they'll destroy us! No magic! We gotta back on Metal Metal! If he says me with a PJ, we gotta do it! What are you talking about? If we stand by, we're gonna watch all them go down in flames! Magic! Tenemos que darnos esquina! Dead by tomorrow! And you set up a meeting with Bonafide. Simon Hefe. Geronimo, dile tus soldados que se calmen. Que no brinquen hasta que yo diga. Wait a second. What is he planning, y'all? I'm trying to... See, I'm not, I'm not catching it. I'm trying to see what he's planning. I'm normally able to, like, catch on quickly to where something's going, but I can't tell where he's going at this point. I would have figured he would have um, argued against bro. Smoke me straight. That ice was the way those fuck up. Alves. So what do you want? Think you can move 300 whack whack? Easiest mantequilla and a hot tortilla. Hmm. Mira. Go make yourself some plata. Damn, man. That's just got now. For Nala, I owe you. For me too. Motherfucker. Huh? You want Papa Saavedra, Zuniga? He got a hit on me. I need protection out there. Listen, Smokey. You want protection, you're gonna have to give me more than Papa. I want everything on Onda. Who they are and where they are. Hey, no way, forget about it. Hey, don't talk shit, Smokey. You stay out there alone, you're dead. You said so yourself. All right. All right. I'll give it to you. The whole layout. Capitanes, soldados. But I gotta be out of shape.
Oh, boy. They found them, didn't it? Wow. This is Lieutenant Ivan Burnett. He's from San They used that wire. This is the victim? Yeah. Paco, we just heard from Sacramento. We are to cooperate with corrections on this. That means that Burnett's going to be bringing down his entire team. What does that mean? I'm out of it? Yeah, you heard me. Well, this is bullshit, Captain. Well, come on. I've been working on this case for months. I had a run-in with a couple of these guys here. Hmm. Oh, counsel. Captain, I'll need this picture. Fine. My chief investigator will debrief from tomorrow. Hey, wait a minute, man. That's my evidence. This is an East L.A. case. Look, I appreciate you. Brad, your so case has been taken stuff. over. Things are popping up all over the state. You hear about the hey. grenade that was thrown into the... Hello, I'm like, what the fuck they get grenades time. from, y'all? I'm betting that Zuniga here was the... Hey. No, but my warden has, and he's Chicano. Well, is your warden related to someone on the owner council? Nikola Velka is my... Is my cousin. I'm related to him by blood and by this. And look, Lieutenant, I don't mean any disrespect. But I think I can get further on this thing than you can. And all I'm asking is that I'm involved. He want to be on the team bad, don't he? My boy just want to be in the action, y'all. I'm sorry. I know I'm being silent through a lot of this now. But it's like, like I said, the first part, I think the first half of this movie, it was just straight into the action but now it's like it's more it's more story driven at this point like it was story driven from the beginning all the way up to now but it's even more story driven now nothing to do with cheap times carlos's brother Smokey acted on his orders not on us and he's paid the price with his life cheap times make for cheap lives man lots of them you want a war we're ready believe me we'll win we've got more soldiers and they'll go all the way oh death if they have to i got soldiers my soldiers ready to die we don't prove that is that what you want i guarantee that's what the aryans want we can stop the killing now maybe for to a false but your word ain't reaching the chino right now musca lopez is crazy i done lost three people down there i can ask the warden for a temporary transfer he might agree if you guarantee peace while i'm gone fuck the truth we cannot no. hmm Man, you got five days. I'm gonna hold my side out for five days, man. Mikla will coordinate on the business in my absence. You can trust he'll make sure nothing He's happens. He's smart. He knew it was gonna lead to bruh basically transferring for a little while. And he was gonna leave him the power because he showed that he was gonna have, he was gonna take order from him. When he got it, bro, I said, chill. We follow what he says, okay? He's the boss. You feel me? Now he's about to do the drug operation. Oh, boy. Here we go. Nobody in here knows what peace is. They've never had it. Talking about power, Carnal. The only way for us to gain real power is for black and brown to come together. Me entiendes? Huh. And I thought Popeye Saavedra was the leader of Onda. It's hard to buy. It's that little guy down there. You better believe it. He's got what you call charisma. You really think you can do something to stop the violence? Montana's got something that makes you want to listen to him. He's got a lot of heart. If anybody can stop this war, it's him. I can always bring in the guns, but I'd rather it be him. I don't like you traveling alone. I don't trust the administration. I don't trust anybody. Don't worry. The warden's guaranteeing my passage, so I get to spend the night in Deleno. See my daughter. After 14 years, can you believe? Damn. Yeah, I know when he said he, he showed that picture. She was 11, I think he said in the picture. And it was like, I forgot how many years so he went, that went by, but it's like, damn. Chill out till I get back, eh? Got it. Nos vemos. 
Hmm. What time is my daughter coming? She'll be here by seven o'clock sharp. What is that about? We'll rack you at six tomorrow for a shower. I'll be waiting. Name's Wallace. Montana. Seems legal. You ain't got no sweet smokes, do you? This state tobacco, man, is a kid. I don't smoke. You don't smoke, huh? Man, I can't wait for these son of a bitches to let me out of here so I can find me a field crew. Do me some picking so I can send my old lady some money back in Louisiana. Bye, Al. You ever pick any grapes, Wallace? <laughs> no, I ain't never pick no grapes. Try to cut me a bunch. Yeah. Here. Oh, man. Say, uh, amigo, do you mind if I have uh, two? Uh, keep the pack. They're only for trade. Oh, man. Lights out. You know, when I was a kid. Mm. Mm. Yeah. The escort's on his way. You'll have one hour with your father. Yo! Like a couple of seconds to straighten up. I don't care who you are in San Quentin. You're nobody here in Kern County. Look, officer, I haven't seen my daughter in 14 years. Can I just take a couple of seconds to... Morning, Wallace. <laughs> See, they bother with you early in the morning, huh? Hmm. Nah. Good day. I'm not gonna let anything ruin it. Hmm. Ooh, them damn short handle holes. Yeah, I used a few of those myself. Oh, oh. Yeah, chemo at the impulse since I felt this good. Uh -huh. My daughter's coming today. Mijita. Oh, <laughs> man, today is going to be such a good day for you. Yeah. Your daughter's going to be so proud of you. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> now, this <gasps> is what they call a change of plan. Vegeta! <gasps> But time! Son of a bitch. Motherfucker, think you can blow up my brother? Uh-uh. You can go join your maker now. But what falls to the floor is here. Don't forget your smokes. Yo. What the hell? Did bruh set that whole thing up or? Wait a second, man. Bro about to see his daughter, man. You're not a metal metal. You're not. No, I'm not a metal metal. But I'm alive. And I'm gonna stay that way. And I want me for me to stay that way too. We gotta plan like man, not get shut down like dog. That's messed up, man. That's messed up. Motherfucker was. Do you know you killed asshole? Your mama. We're gonna stay here all day until you can talk, so it's fine with me. We're gonna stay here. Been in for 30 years. It's as tough as three inch steel. When I get back, I'm gonna bust your ass. I'll be here. Damn. Right here. Like, he don't give a damn. Like, his life, rest of his life is spent, gonna be spent in prison. Tell him what you told me. I didn't order no hit on nobody. Feel like throwing gasoline on fire right now. Don't bullshit me, man. I ain't no sucker. He's BGA. He made the hit. He's your man. I ain't trying to play you for no sucker, brother. I'm just telling you, if I wanted to hit Montana, I'd use a freelancer. An AVer. 
so it couldn't be traced. I'm not a stupid man, so. That's enough. Come on over here with me. Yeah, that's him. Why don't you let me talk to him? No way. He ain't gonna tell you nothing. And you want to get to the bottom of his problem? You want to deal with it? Now, I know he'll talk to me. Your call. Keep your sass on, dude. Did he really not order the hit? Because that's why I said that Mikolo, yeah, I don't want to think he would go that far, but you don't think Mikolo. Nah, nah, nah. Why you hit Montana? It has to be the Aryan. Oh, the Aryan did that. that. you about Montana's murder. Who the fuck are you to come here like this? Montana's none of your fucking business. You gotta listen to me, Miklo. Bonafide says somebody counterfeited his comb and put a phony uh... message in Montana. The PGA didn't do it. That's bullshit. We know the fucking PGA killed him. Yeah? Well, the administration doesn't think so. Or was it the like area? Responsible for starting a fucking war against the wrong people? Huh? Listen, man, I know you hate me. I shot your leg off, and that's something I'm gonna have to live with for the rest of my life. This war, you and your vatos will be committing suicide. It was the Aryan Brotherhood there. I about to say, I wouldn't think Miguel would go that far now. Just believe me. You want that? Oh, you're the man now, aren't you? Look, Montana left you in charge, right? Be a real leader, man. Protect your people. Meet with Bonafide. What do you got to lose? Dude, we will set up. That old man was no jive-ass punk. He was hardcore BGA. That's right. That's why it don't make no sense. I take out Montana with my own man. It's suicide. Now, you do what you want to do. But think about this. Who you think stands to gain if BGA and on the wall? That's what Fuck bruh me. said. Hey. That's what he said. That's what Hefe said. Years. Yep. I work with lightning in the woodshop. He gets my comb, he counterfeits it, he sends it to Wallace. It's possible. And now that motherfucker Red Rider sitting in a front row seat just waiting on us to take each other out. Yeah. And we'll celebrate a big Mexican holiday together. Huh. Now which one are you talking about? Dia de los Muertos. That means what now? Day of the Dead. All right. <laughs> All right. In six months. I'm in. Just shaking hands. We got a truce. We won't congratulate ourselves too soon. We'll wait and see. Mm. That's destiny. So BJ wants to help us take out the aviers? All right. We'll throw a little white meat to the dogs. Then we'll rob the house. I was just about to say, like, everybody kind of goes down here, right? Orale. Orale. <laughs> that Orale got to stop, my boy. Yo. Gracias, Carnal. You were right. You did the right thing, Miko. Tell your mom I love her, okay? Take care of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Bradley. He I. Day of the Dead. So that's what this was at the beginning of the movie, the Day of the Dead celebration. Interesting. Yo fui mal hombre y lo llegó mi de 
this gracia. Yo, this is like Halloween or something. It's in a graveyard. Oh. Like a mix of Mardi Gras, too. Oh, there go that gold, y'all. That's that gold. Y'all, I want some of that gold. That's real gold right there. Like, not like gold gold, but it's gold. Like, that's gold drink for real. Like, that's the strong, strong. They accepted him back. Are they gonna accept him? Yo, bruh. My boy sorry, man. He he sorry, man. He really is, bruh. Like Damn man. Damn. It's good. Leave that shit alone, man, man. Like, leave that shit alone, Oh, it's going down. Oh, they they phone booked up. They don't even know what's coming. Oh boy. They don't even know what's coming, bro. Day of the dead, y'all. I was like on some Friday the 13th shit. Yo! Work, Bonifai. I'm telling you, man, we keep our stake together. That way we control the whole joint, right? All right. Blue eyes piercing, y'all. Whoa, the cross of the cross, y'all. Wow. Look at this. It's unbelievable. Every hit was strategic. First, they knocked off most of the AV leadership, and then they finished off the BGA. Oh. I want the owner of the council broken up. Use interstate compact. I want him out of here. Get him out of here before the end of the week. Taxpayers just saved another three million bucks. Everything's in fucking Damn. jokes, man. What's your problem? What's my problem? You got a problem? No, no, no. You don't understand, man. That little bastard's up there playing God. He's got an army to back him up. Yeah, I don't understand, right? I don't ever understand, right? So as long as he's doing it behind bars, it's not going to affect you or me, is it? 
I ain't gonna lie, forgot one leg. He, hey, that motherfucker running shit. That would you call some real brain power at work. You used me. Hey. I tried to save your life and you used me to set up the VGA. They would have come after us if we hadn't got them first. I did what I had to for my brothers to survive. Your brothers? And what am I, Miklo? Man, you grew up with me. You slept in my room. You wore my fucking clothes. How could you use your own flesh and blood to help massacre all those people? Don't you think, man? I hate what you did. I hate what you stand for. Hmm. You know, Paquito, for a long time I hated you. I blamed you for everything. But then I realized something that changed my life. Everything you did, even shooting my leg off, forced me into my destiny. My home, here, inside these walls, I found that a boy like being in prison. That's that prison mentality, y'all. You you just it literally becomes a home for a lot of people that end up in it. With pride and dignity, that's like for that time, like that. All you got is your white father's hate. Still hung up on my fluorescent skin like that? Hmm? He wasn't my real father. Montana was. He taught me about respect. Mm. You gotta be willing to die for it. Like you. Like you not deserting me after the car crash at Alpino. That was real respect for a brother. And I always love you for it, Carnal. Mm. Miklo, it's not about drive-bys and gang fights anymore. It's Let's about... stop fighting, Carnal. We're family. We should help each other, not cut each other's throats. Just because you're a cop and I'm a con, doesn't mean we can't cooperate. I can give you tips from inside that can really help you out on the street. Oh, boy. You got a lot of power out there. He uses his brother still, but hey, you get something out of the deal, my boy. I'm just saying. You your fucking mind. I'm just saying, you get you something out the deal, my boy. You get the credit. Yeah, my boy be hustling. He a hustling motherfucker. Yo, Mikolo a hustling motherfucker. Yo. I'll always be your brother, Vato Loco. Damn. Never. Mikolo, a hustling motherfucker, y'all. He a real deal hustler. He, even when it's like an emotional moment, he's still hustling. Let him watch. The show's just beginning, and they don't even know it. This will probably be our last meeting together, carnales. They're trying to break Onda up. But you know what? They're only helping us grow. Mm. They're using the interstate compact to exchange each of you who's from... Simonkis. Mm. Her animal goes back to Texas. You straighten your son out. Okay, no? Simon. They're trying to break up La Onda. But we're going to turn it on them. And you know how we're going to do that? Each of you is going to establish your own chapters. Mm. La Onda has $15,000 for each of you, so we'll start things out strong. Wow. Oh. Yeah, sick. Get on, homie. Y'all, yeah, who's Billy Graham? Let me know in the comments. I know maybe I should know that probably, but let me know in the comments. Who's Billy Graham? So he given each on 15 racks to start up different chapters of their prison games and other prison. It's a big game. Southwestern state. La Onda has a destiny. And no one can stop us. But I kept it. For protection. From you. Now I want you to destroy it. But 
we did what we had to do for Onda. Y'all, so Miko, who did fucking do it? Y'all, I didn't think my boy was that cold yet. My boy, them, them, them blue eyes, them blue piercing eyes, y'all. My boy, Mikolo, cold bloody. My man was about to see his daughter, cuz. You couldn't even let him see his daughter first, bruh. Oh shit! My boy got lawyer ones. Un desmadre. Bro, you can't let that man see his kid first, bro. Oh man, it's not all marked up, man. Oh Just man. Respect. For ten years, man, I've been star trekking in the twilight zone. <laughs> Thought if I came and looked at this, I might find my way back. You know. Hmm. Damn, we were all innocent, eh? That's a big mirror. So that bad. looks dope as hell. It ain't like that anymore. What, not even a little carnalismo left in there? Is hmm. it? What, you think you use brotherhood up like a shot of tequila? You just drink it down, it burns me. I see up there a fantasy, man. A dream. Three vatos looking for something that wasn't there. Loco, we stood by each other. We trusted each other. Orale, that's worth believing. Orale. He never again, Crucito. Orale. Crucito and I are finished, man. He ain't my family. I hate that fucking puto. You gotta scrape his ass off the wall like dirt. Chale, vato, mm. no matter how much hate there is between you and him, you're still connected. You got the same blood pumping through both your hearts. Not anymore. You ain't changed a bit, is it? What are you saying? It's all my fault the way everything turned out. Nobody say that. Anybody say that? Anybody say that? Anybody say that? Take what you want to take. You feel me out of all that? It got down or lay. Power in. <laughs> Everybody grown, bruh. Everybody grown. That's the overall point. Could you say maybe you <laughs> contributed partially to some stuff? Yeah, but everybody grown, bro. Wouldn't be all fucked up. Everybody grown, bro. Everybody grown, bro. Those decisions in the youth, bro. What you do in your adult life is what you do. That's your fucking problem, is that you can't forgive yourself. Yeah. You need that guilt. It's what keeps you going. Hey, I know, bro. I fed mine through a needle for ten years. Mm. And that widow up there hating his own fucking white skin? <laughs> Shit, he's got it worse than both of us. Mm. Damn. That's who we are. Three vatos locos full of carnal. Way, vato. Life's a risk, carnal. Remember, you said it yourself. Pues orale. Step into orale. the ring and throw down. Stop the orale. Take care of business, Holmes. Caiga, mm. puto. Because we're from East Los, ese. I. We come out, chase. Hey, yeah. yeah. With all that shit. Round and round we go. Round and round. Rabbit's foot for luck. Just ahead of the fucking hounds. Kill all. Que vida es. Que loca vida, homie. I don't know what he said, but that shit sound turned up, though, too. And we back, y'all. Y'all see what it is, man. Stop playing, all right? Look, y'all, look. That right there was part two, all right? Of blood in, blood out. Yeah, look, man, look. Right there, I ain't gonna lie. Like I said, I watched this whole movie in one sitting. This, even though it's part two for y'all, 
I watched this whole thing in one sitting. Uh, one sitting. So, as far as it go, I've been here the whole three hours for this film, y'all. And I have to say, this movie was incredible. I am so glad y'all recommended this shit. This was a great fucking movie. Uh, y'all, I don't know how to... You got it's a reason why I give my raw thoughts and opinions throughout the film when watching it, y'all, because I know for a fact, y'all, I will probably be drained at the end of some of these reactions, depending on the length of the movies and whatnot, and what all is going on within these movies. That is it gonna be something that turn me up, or is it gonna be something that it turn me up? But it's not turning me up, you know what I mean? But this shit right here turned me up. It was just on go, just you on the edge of your seat, just, bruh, what's about to take place next? Um, either way, I know I summed up a lot of, a lot of, I guess, a lot of the first half of that movie in part one. Um, part two, my boy and Migalo, he ended up back in prison, you know, um, on top of that, he ended up with one leg after, um, you know, big bro, bro shot him in the leg, you know, uh, he was like, you owe me, you owe me. And then he dipped off and then bro, like, Migalo, stop, stop me. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm gonna shoot you. I'm gonna shoot you in the ass. Hey, stop. He's like, fa fa that's thing you know, Mika Lowe ended up one leg and back in prison. He took over to prison, man. Like, Mika Lowe was cold-hearted, y'all. He was cold. I kind of figured, I kind of figured he was the one that sent the fake, um, like, hit cone thing to the, the hit man of the AVG crew or whatever. And I kind of, I, I kind of figured he was the one that did it, y'all. That's why I was like... You know, you kind of see me looking a certain way like, Brad, I know Brad in. Nah, that's why I was like, y'all heard me somewhere in there say, okay, okay, so Miklo didn't do it. Okay, I thought Miklo probably, I thought my boy was cold like that, but it turned out Miklo did that shit. He did that. He had my boy, Brad saved your life from, he hell, he saved Yo, behind, literally, he he saved your behind first day in prison while you getting fucking juju beans and motherfucking free cigarettes from my dude. He comes in there, you know, he saves your life, bruh. You know, he saved you from getting shanked up in your cell, man. And on top of that, he put you on the team, basically, man. Like, come on, man, come on. You tripping, my guy. Where... Where is the respect? I get it. I get it. You see things going a certain way. And, you know, you like, yo, overall on behalf, on the, on, when you look at it for the whole, for the whole crew, man, the whole squad, you looking like, yo, bro, the moves that you making right now and stuff that you allowing, this is what's going to take place. And you're not wrong. You, you're not wrong. Let's say, let's say it did lead to that. It would be the destruction of y'all whole quote unquote familiar. You feel me? It'll be, it'll be the overall destruction of y'all pretty much. Y'all would be weak in there in the system, you know, with all the prison games and whatnot. You, you know, it's, I get it. I get it. So you're, you're like basically what's the what's the thing called the same the greater good so you're looking at the greater good of things meaning what some might deem to be doing something that's so horrible but you do it for the great of good um it's whatever for you feel me the overall goodness of whatever you need the goodness to be in this case you're familiar so you're doing the most horrible horrible type of shit um to overall benefit your familiar in the long run so setting my boy up like that not letting him see his daughter and his daughter seemed like yeah she was ready to meet her dad and bruh <sighs> The disrespect, man. This man ain't see his kid in like what, like 10, 12 years, some shit. Like, bro, come on, man. Like, 
That's so messed up. Mikolo, cold bloody boy. He a cold mother. Them blue piercing eyes, bro. Man, look, I'm glad. I'm glad my artist got off them drugs though, y'all. I'm glad he stopped putting the needle in his arm, man. Cause, yo, that that ain't it, my boy. Yo, that that ain't the way to go, man. Like, either way, y'all. I know for a fact. I'm going to get lost talking about this movie. And because I am slightly tired, y'all, it is kind of late at night. I'm not going to lie to you. I kind of been up all day editing um, editing these videos and whatnot. I, I'm about to upload my reaction to Train to Busan. I think I'm saying that name correctly. I still haven't uploaded. I know I asked somewhere in that reaction am I saying the name correctly or to correct me on how to say it. Um, but I haven't dropped that reaction as of the recording of this reaction. But the train was on is gonna be dropped before this is dropped. So either way, yeah, this is gonna yeah, that's definitely gonna be dropped way before this is dropped. I finished uh editing that. I just gotta cut all the copyright copyrighted um music out of there now. Um but yeah, either way. I've been up all day editing, y'all, so I am tired, and the first half of this movie already kind of wiped me out, uh, so by the time I even got into the second half, I was kind of already, you feel me, but I was taking it in, and I was enjoying the film, y'all, I was appreciating it for what it was, and like I said, I love this story, y'all, because it ke it kept you involved for three hours, you gotta think about it. I was entertained, y'all. And I was like just so into this story for three hours. This was really a great movie. Because look, the first half of this movie, y'all, it seemed like it was definitely it, it was just on go. Everything was go, everything was moving. It was body dropping here, body dropping there, body dropping here, body dropping there. This this gang shit here this gang shit there well not bodies dropping like it was a ton of bodies not at the end of the movie it was a ton of bodies but like that's why i'm getting it mixed up in the movie it was a ton of bodies dropping but you know what i mean beginning it was a bunch of crazy shit people running cars bagging up with windows busted out and you know people getting dropped on fire hydrants you know car chases prison juju beans and fucking cigarettes i mean everything was going on at the beginning y'all it's like it's like hey man we about to slap you in the face with a lot of shit at one time because it's three hours and we're gonna get into a, a lot of crazy shit so you might as well go ahead get used to it here you go just throw you right into it and it's like okay you hit me with it from the beginning i am tired i am out of energy all i can do is just take this in now y'all you can't I can't get too overexcited, otherwise I might just end up reaching a point where it's like, yo, I'm about to just go to sleep right now, man. Not because this movie's not entertaining, but because you drain the energy out with too much wild shit. All the Oralaying, man. These motherfuckers Oralay and shit goes down. I don't know what it is about that damn Oralay, but ever since American Me, I say I don't want to hear an Oralay, y'all. I don't want to hear an Oralay, you feel me? Because shit goes down at the Oralay. Orlay is just another version. It's another way of just saying turn up, y'all. But that's a different turn up. That's not a regular turn up. That is a turn up that can put you in some crazy shit. What crazy? I don't know. But if you do, if you if you do the Orlay turn up, y'all, you you bound to either end up in a graveyard. You bound to end up. In prison? You bound to end up in the shooting? I don't know, y'all. Shit is going down behind Orlay because that turn up is not a good turn up, y'all. That turn up is too much turning up. You should not turn up that much. Um, hey, but listen, man. <laughs> listen, man. <laughs> listen, man. No, but listen to me, though, man. Um, Either way, I had a great time with this movie. 
Um, definitely, y'all, like I said, the link to my Twitch is at the bottom. That is where I will be doing live movie reviews. Sorry, I almost messed that up. Live movie reviews, live show reviews. And this is for sure going to be one of those movies that I do review more in depth. Um, y'all come over there, join me live. You can contribute to the reviews, you know, and then we just having fun over there. Y'all get in the chat. We talk live, y'all. You feel me? So... You can actually be a part of these reviews and definitely, you know, add on, man. And like I said, it's going to be a good time. Also, if you miss those reviews, they will be edited and put over here on the channel for your viewing pleasure. But, um, look, man, I'm going to wrap it up right here because, like I said, if I continue to speak right now while I am kind of tired at this moment, I will start to ramble on and on. No mean I won't be talking about the film, but it's like, Okay, it might be stretched out way too long. Now you should have wrapped this up. Uh, and I know. So either way, to wrap it up, y'all. I enjoyed this movie. I'm I'm glad to have seen as many of the actors well recognized. I'm glad to have recognized as many of the actors that I've seen in this film. Y'all name a lot of these actors that was in this movie because, like I said, I couldn't remember a lot of the names um, of some of these actors. Well, most actors, for some reason, it's on the top of my brain, but it's just not, I don't know why it's not, you know, open for some reason. I know these actors' names, but either way, name me some of these actors that was in this movie. Um, Like, I was listing off a few of the movies of some of the actors where I was like, what's his name again? What's his name again? Like, I listed off a few, like my boy Machete, you know what I'm saying? AKA Badass, you know. My guy got many titles, man. My guy got many titles. Like, as far as it go, amazing act. I love, bro. I, I seen, like I said, his Vlad interviews was lit. I think I seen a little bit of something else he did for another interview, but I watched his Vlad interviews for sure. Um, but yeah, that's, that's it. That's it, y'all. I'm gonna wrap this up before I start going on too long. It's like, man, come on, where we in this? So, look, if y'all enjoyed this reaction, both parts, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, you know, go to the Twitch link. It's at the bottom. Hit that link. Join me over on Twitch, man. Follow your boy. We're gonna do the reviews. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna turn up. But no Orale. No, no Orale, man. No, hey, I don't care. No Orale. I don't, I want to wake up in my bed tomorrow, all right? No Orale. So, <laughs> look, man, I hope y'all had a good time. I definitely did. Um, I'm going to wrap it up right here. I appreciate y'all hanging out with me, man. Y'all make sure y'all be safe out there. I'm going to catch y'all on that next one. Check out the rest of the channel. You know, go through my playlist. Everything is labeled neatly, you know, for whatever the shows are, all that's labeled. And then, you know, movies is just the movie playlist. Just go into movie playlist and then check out what's in there. And make your, um, get in those comments. Tell me how much did you enjoy this movie. Tell me what was your favorite part of the reaction. Um, also... Where does this movie sit on your 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 favorites list? What in what order? Like it doesn't have to be like a one through five or one through ten. It can be whatever number you want. One through twenty, one through thirty. Where does this movie sit on your list? Um that yeah, I'm sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna start talking too much, y'all. I'm sorry. But either way, get in those comments. Leave me some recommendations for what I should watch next. And um, that, that's it, y'all. Like I said, man, be safe. I'm going to catch y'all. I appreciate y'all hanging. We up out of here, y'all, all right? Yeah.